Hey everybody, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. In January, the provincial government announced that they would be moving towards performance-based funding for post-secondary institutions. While Minister of Advanced Education Dimitrios Nikolaitis mentioned that these institutions would have individual targets, he did indicate that those targets could include the following metrics. Graduation and completion rates, postgraduate employment, experiential learning, enrollment, quality of teaching, students, satisfaction. Those indicators are problematic, even though superficially they seem like a good idea. It seems like a good idea to have good graduation and completion rates, but what if people drop out for reasons beyond the school's control? I dropped out twice, once for financial reasons and the other because of scheduling issues with my job. None of those were the fault of the school. If people find out that they just can't survive anymore on student loans or can't go back to school and work at the same time, or can't be a student and a parent at the same time, Time and decide to drop out, should the school be held responsible for it? Postgraduate employment might be a good idea if the purpose of the institution is get graduates employed. This makes sense for a trade school, for example. A university, on the other hand, isn't designed for this. It's designed to increase knowledge and improve thinking skills. Same goes for experiential learning. I assume this is practicum or co-op and other theory into practice programs. Again, this might be a good idea for institutions designed to manufacture workers. The problem with funding based on enrollment is that it will encourage institutions to create and market popular programs rather than necessary programs. And it will amplify the existing narrative around program worthiness that already exists in advanced education. How do you measure quality of education? How do you measure student satisfaction? These are both arbitrary subjective metrics. Lots of university students hate broad-based liberal education, but that doesn't mean it has no value and shouldn't be funded. This announcement further enforces the conservative idea that university is only for the elite, and that its job should be pumping out workers. The next thing we know, art galleries are going to be forced to host only works of realism. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. You can follow me online at seber.ca slash Kim. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. If you appreciate the videos I share here on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation either through PayPal or Patreon. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video and subscribe to my channel. Please also click on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I look forward to talking to you again soon.